the Johnny Five stick inputs. Input. More input. Johnny, here guys! And today we're talking about sticks. Stick ins, thumb grips are the one physical interface to your aircraft that you have. The only one, the only way that you can pass the controls that are in your brain to your aircraft and make it do exactly what you want if you have the skills to pay the bill. Well, one of the things that you can do to fix some of that shake is actually get a stick in that fits your hand more comfortably. And the number one thing is that you want to achieve something that requires little to no readjustment. So we're testing the new version of the 533 stick. Mondo custom made these for us, something that's sort of similar to the TBS Crown Jewels with a little slot for your index finger for a hybrid pinch, but with that all around grippy material. Joe thinks that these should be called. Yeah, Joe <laughs> Mondo's Jewels. <laughs> Man, what a difference. Yeah, it's and been easy to adjust tonight so far too. Yeah, um, it's it's feeling like, really yeah, good. Just smooth. So here are the types of stick ins that you can get. This is kind of the most basic type that comes on every radio. You are so basic. Thin aluminum, a little mm. spiky, but not too bad. And they work okay. The very premium TBS honey stick in that has this very nice sphere of influence and it's really good for thumbing. Uh, what I did notice though after a bit was that my finger would, in sharp maneuvers, I would end up kind of sliding off this way, sliding off this way, so I wouldn't lose grip altogether. And when I would get to a flat part of the course, I would have to readjust like this. The Team Black Sheep Crown Jewels. That's right, this is the Crown Jewels right here. And you can see it has some nice pokey for a thumber, but it also has this little indention for your index finger, kind of like that. But on my thumber journey, I went to the 533 thumb stick end right here. This instantly improved my lap times as it has a very nice grip and a very wide portion, perfect for your thumbs. Now it is a little spiky, so my thumb would get a little bit raw, but it wouldn't actually cut it the way that this one would. This is the stock AG01 gimbal. And I really actually like it a lot. It keeps your thumb very firmly planted. Uh, this is after using a tiny little file to get these nubs just a little bit less pokey for you. And, uh, but this thing is metal, so once your finger oils start getting on them, you start sliding around. Now, it does have this very clever little rubber rings right here. So if you were a hybrid pincher like this, that helps give you a little bit of extra grip, but you still end up slipping because this front side is actually quite slick and polished. So if you're a thumber, this is definitely the best option, but... When I got the AG01 gimbals, I wanted this bad boy. Similar concepts to the TBS Crown Jewels, but a little bit different. You can see it's a bit bigger, um, which I wanted the nice overall size of kind of this thing, but with uh, the features that would allow for a hybrid uh, pincher to be able to put their index finger perfectly on this little slot right here. And it actually has little grippies on the slot as well. So you have grippies for your front little finger as well as the top of your thumb. The little leather grippies, mm, gonna put some leather polish on this bad boy. Now they also have sort of like these pineapple style shaped gimbal sticks as well. This is kind of if you're either a thumber or a pincher, or you like to do a little bit of both. If you like a wider grip, this is great. And you have small indentions right here or the very thick ones right here. So this is a really nice options by 533. Then you have these little thin stick version so it's sort of similar to what we did but it's a little bit lower profile it still has the nubs all the way around for you pinchers uh, to be able to get a good grip on either side like this and on the top for anybody that hybrids so i believe this is the mck version i found myself really 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 liking the metal ones at first but in our climate your hands do get a bit sweaty and then they start slipping and that's where you get bobbles when you have to readjust your fingers this 
means that you don't ever have to readjust. Do you know the best way that you can test whether one of these is making a difference is if you sim on Velocidrome. Go refly all the tracks that you've flown in the past and see how long it takes you to beat your leaderboard times. If you're able to beat your leaderboard times within two to five tries, you know this is a difference. I just can't believe that uh, such a small cost item, most of the average cost of any of these sticking are about 15 bucks. So cheaper than a set of motors, cheaper than a single motor, cheaper than a radio, cheaper than a goggle, and nothing has improved my time around the track. Nothing has improved the smoothness in my freestyle flight like this $15 upgrade. So there is no best stick for everyone. It's a very personal choice. Clothes make the man when you're going out on the town and sticks make the pilot. So you need to figure out which fits your hand size, your stick throw, your way that you fly, your way that you hold it. Are you a thumber? Are you a pincher? Are you a hybrid pincher? And what makes the best sense for you? Also, find the best way to hold your radio. I find on my right hand, I end up holding my middle finger right above the first set of switches. But for my left hand, I end up holding my middle finger right the middle set of switches. And that's because I need to be able to reach full throttle versus full pitch with a slightly different um, frequency. The other thing that I did do that's not as big of a difference but does make a slight quality of life improvement was I got the leather grips for right here. It's just a little bit more comfortable when you're flying for long periods of time and it just sits a little bit softer in your hand. The other thing that I did was the way that I hybrid pinched this little knob was really digging into my middle finger after a while the way that I hold the radio. So I actually took my radio apart, flipped that switch so that the stick thing is pointing inside the radio and put a little bit of tape right there so that there's nothing that can actually get inside. And so those are the little modifications, but the biggest one of all was the stick in. Go hit up 533 if you want a set of the Johnny Five stick inputs, which may or may not be called that, um, or get some of the TBS ones. So these are very cheap to try, only about 15 bucks a set, and you can just keep trying and trying different ones until you roll a Yahtzee. And with the cost being this low, it means you're never gonna crap out. chasing them. Oh, I hear the bobble by another pilot. What we got going on? Come on, Joe. You got to stay in front of the police. You can't let the police pass you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You going to take him to jail. Oh, he hit the ground. <laughs> the police taking him to jail. God damn. 